Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. The Detroit Lions have made some big moves over the last two days and myself and Zach as Bears fans felt like it was a good time to kind of react and talk about what our fellow division rivals have been doing. Zach, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. So first off, let's talk about Dan Campbell, who's going to be the head coach of the Detroit Lions, who just signed a six year contract and also just had his introductory uh, press conference, which in my opinion, went really, really well. I like the hiring as much as I hate to admit it, Zach. I think he's gritty, tough nosed. He's one of those guys that your players are going to want to play for. And it also helped that, you know, he actually played for the Lions at one point. I mean, unfortunately, as Bear fans and everything, mm -hmm. it it's hard to to see but i mean dan campbell is a great hire for the lions um you hear nothing but good things for campbell uh, six years it's, it's a long, it's time, a long I, time i think and i think that this truly shows that the lions are gonna try and go full on almost rebuild or like kind of just like have dan control what he wants i mean stafford is aging you got galladay asian and in I think this, as well too don't forget yeah yeah i think this is like the turning point for the lions and they're gonna have a true identity because dan campbell i mean i don't know if you've seen the video clip of him oh my gosh yeah as an interim coach in miami he's he's a great hire for yeah. this it's gonna be very scary down the road for the lions i think i mean they have solid pieces on defense they do so they have a lot I'm of excited. youngsters zach i'm not gonna lie to you dude i think he's gonna turn the lions around and as much as i hate to admit it you know, you brought in Aaron Glenn as their defensive coordinator, who is an incredible hire. I've seen multiple people say that he's a potential next head coach. You saw how he developed Marcus Williams and Lattimore in New Orleans. So I, I think, you know, that's another win in my book. Culture is an overused word in football today, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't think it matters, but I truly think that what Dan Campbell is gonna be bringing into Detroit when it comes to his culture, I mean, like I just like I referred to that video yeah. of him as the interim coach. I would absolutely love yeah. to play for somebody like that. And Detroit has DeAndre Swift. They have Jeff Okuda. They have a lot of young yeah. talent. So it's going to be a lot interesting. And unless it's a complete disaster where they go like 0-16 or anything, I think that Dan truly, as we mentioned, it's a long contract. He'll play out that entire six-year contract I agree. and maybe get an extension it'll be interesting to see what they do at the quarterback position but like you said you know the passion emotion intensity i i really really like the hire sticking with head coaches the philadelphia eagles hired nick serrani as their head coach today zach i don't know a ton about him uh but what are your thoughts on the hiring for the eagles i don't know exactly where this is gonna go what I, I think it's a great hire for the eagles right Mm -hmm. like as a standpoint of being a coach specifically but i'm kind of like conflicted on what this is truly going to mean and the direction he's going to go so yeah. i'm actually very interested to see because question is is he going to want carson once there and is he going to want to try and keep him and try and fix him because i mean once has that big contract there's reports that he's wanted to leave nick has been a offensive guy since he came into the league i feel like he was offensive quality coach at Kansas City when he came into the league so I don't know if he's going to try one year of Carson see yeah. if he could rejuvenate Carson once his career it is a very very interesting what's going on in Philadelphia you assume Eric Bieniemy has to go to the Texans but we'll see what happens no news has came out about that quite yet again make sure you do check out Zach he streams on Twitch go drop him a follow please also make sure you guys drop a like make sure you guys do drop a subscription and until next time we'll talk to you guys soon peace